Good afternoon, Knifeaholics. Bob with Knifeaholics Anonymous. Back at you with another review. Today's actually going to be our um, mail call review. The uh, mail call I had from yesterday. Um, I picked up a, a couple of knives. Actually, I only meant to buy one knife, and I ended up buying two. I figured if I'm going to pay the same amount of money for, for one knife, might as well buy two uh, in regards to the shipping costs. So um, I picked up this little trade pocket knife uh, this is nine bucks uh, blade HQ I bought it my uh, girlfriend's two boys have each got one of these that they got from their father uh, pretty well beaten up uh, one had a, a couple of missing screws or well, one missing screw and then the other one fell out um, for the pocket clip and then the other knife the blade the tip was uh, snapped on it had a little bit of a, a bend to it as well so um, I decided to go ahead and, and pick uh, an extra one up just to use for parts. Um, so I used the screws out of out of this one uh, for the pocket clip on the one, and I was able to fix the the bend a little bit better. Um, it doesn't look half bad, and I was able to reshape the tip, so I didn't have to use the blade off of this one. Uh, I wanted to keep them as original as possible, uh, you know, sentimental values. Um, I know they're young now, but uh, maybe later on they'll appreciate it. Uh, as I would, um, you know, in my uh, more mature years. So, um, but regardless, I've got a brand new knife. Um, I was able to piece this back together with some screws I forgot I had in my drawer. And uh, so, pocket clips back on there. Everything is locked tighted down. Um, so, I'm good to go. Good little pocket knife. I mean, I wouldn't make this an everyday carry, but, you know, if I was wearing some basketball shorts... Or jogging pants and didn't want to have anything weigh myself you know weigh my pants down this would be a, a perfect option nice and light also be good for a tackle box or a toolbox so good stuff but the real reason for this video um as you know uh, i in the past um if you remember correctly uh, a video i did uh, i was not a fan of the cleaver style blades didn't really see a, a need or purpose for them uh, for my personal use but uh, I ended up finding a, a Gerber flat iron some, some time ago on clearance and picked one up. And I have fallen in love with these cleaver style blade styles. Um, in fact, after I got the Gerber, I picked up the Kershaw Static. And I love both these knives. And I was uh, doing some browsing on the interwebs and... Uh, Google machine came across this buck in the same style. It's a buck trunk. Uh, I picked this up on Blade HQ uh, for $21.95. Um, good little knife for, for the, the price. Um, nice and sharp out of the box. Did a gravity test. Um, before I stropped it, I did strop it... Uh, this morning, um, but out of the box, nice and sharp, uh, past the uh, arm hair challenge, and um, I did a, a gravity test, and it hung up a little bit um, on some of the foam of paper I used. I don't know if it was the paper or if it was the blade, uh, and I have not done this test since I've stropped it, so hopefully I don't embarrass myself and say it's sharp and it not cut not cutting all the way through in one slice but it definitely cuts I uh, I will say that's pretty sharp so um, but nice blade uh, I for some reason had it in my head um, that it would be bigger than what it actually is i thought it was about the same size maybe smaller a little smaller than the flat iron uh, but it's actually about the same size maybe a little longer than the um the kershaw static um definitely not as heavy um the action on it i mean it's got a, a finger flipper as well as the thumb studs it's smooth in regards to it opening without any real tension but uh it doesn't uh, flick open 
as easy as my static without flicking my wrist as well. Uh, that might loosen up over time, but uh, not really that big of an issue. Um, it's got a pocket clip, deep carry, uh, pocket clip, uh, tip up configuration, right pocket carry. Um, it comes in uh, black G10 as well as the tan um, is also available. Um, it's a it's a good little knife. Uh, I have no complaints about it, um, except for that maybe that action uh, over time. Hopefully that kind of loosens up a little bit. Uh, the overall length is uh, almost seven inches. Uh, blade blade length is just under three inches. Cutting edge is two point seven five. The width is uh, eighty eight point eighty eight of an inch. Uh, 11th of an inch for the thickness. Uh, it is a stainless steel blade. Uh, the blade style, so Blade HQ defines this as sheep's foot. I, I think it's more cleaver than sheep's foot. Uh, I guess that is um, that conversation is for another time, another debate. Um, hollow grind, the finish is satin. Um, I didn't see any other options for the blade edge. It's all fine or uh, straight edge. No, uh, no serrations available. Um, handle width, uh, 0.875. The length is four inches. Thickness is, uh, half an inch. Uh, G10 material for the handle. Uh, this one's black. It comes in tan. Um, weight is, uh, 3.10 ounces. So not very, um, very heavy at all um made in china um so overall uh it's a good good find uh this will be one that i would carry on a regular basis um i do have three other bucks um i don't carry very often um i am a, a major kershaw zt fan those are my go-to's uh followed by crkt um on occasion i carry my uh Civivi. But um, Buck is, is one, at least this one, is one that I'll probably carry um, more often. Um, I think these, these style of blades are nice and thick. Um, they'll, they'll accept some of the beat up and torture uh, that I use knives for um, and not be that expensive uh, of a, a knife. Like my, my ZT350, I, I use for everything that gets so much use. Uh, and it's, it's so beaten up but it just keeps going but of course uh with a beast like that uh and the price that goes along with it, it it should stand up to the test um this one for the price i mean i, I don't try to go out and abuse my knives purposely um and by abuse i mean for me personally i don't use them as screwdrivers or levers um pry bars i i just use them to cut and i do a lot of cutting so um, that's what I mean by abuse of my, my, uh, usage. Um, but anyways, there you have it, uh, buck trunk. Um, I give this, uh, salad two thumbs up. Um, it would be a good knife to add to your collection. If you're looking for something, uh, inexpensive and still, uh, worth a, a good use. Uh, and of course the shade orange, I don't even know what it's called. Um, it's SCH107A1OR, I think. It's so tiny, I can't read it. Um, it's orangey. Uh, orange and black. The color is actually pretty cool. It's nice and bright. But, uh, again, a, maybe a good first knife for a young one. Um, a good uh, throwaway knife, something to keep in your glove box of the car. Uh, bottom of a purse or something. There you have it. Uh, but that's all I have for this video. Um, stay sharp, stay safe, and uh, guys, have a great rest of your week. Take care now.